So now we are talking about a new modulation technique, um, which is called OFDM. And um, mainly I stay with this abbreviation because the actual um, words, the actual words behind them, they are, have more historical meaning. And this is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. So that's the um, name behind this, but um, as I said, the um, important is to memorize the OFDM. And so what's the motivation behind OFDM? So remember previously, previously we had symbols with, essentially symbols with constant value. Of course, we smoothed them out a bit, but our symbols, they are more or less looked like in this fashion here, where we think of quam. So we had constant values and they were coding certain numbers and they were lasting t. So this lasted t here, that's t and so on. And so the, the important, the crucial thing is we have um, a constant value here. And um, the other, the other important thing is we would only sample at one point here. So we would probably on the receiver side or information is somewhere in the middle here. So the information is at one sample point. So that's a one. Only at one sample point. So this means we are wasting all the other sample points here. So they are not used. This is probably looking more yeah, like um, so something like this. And then we were sampling here at this point here at the receiver to be sure that this level So we use only one one sample per symbol duration. So just just write this here once once more. So only one one sample during a symbol to transmit information. This is obviously obviously very inefficient. Um, ideally, what we would like to do is we would like to transmit loads of information during one symbol duration. So let's just recap this quickly here. Um, so the S of T, so we had something like this. And remember, that's a important now is that we really think of that this T is a sample system. So we have so we have here our our samples. So therefore I should not, not write S of T, but I should actually write S of N here, just to be clear that we are in a sample time domain just to make this really sure here. Before this, it really didn't matter. And so, so we've got samples here. And, um, but we're using essentially, essentially only one, one sample in the middle so far. So that's our problem. 
so the idea now behind the idea of OFDM is now the following yeah, that we create symbols which are much more complex so we create we create symbols which carry information in every sample here during T create symbols which carry info in every sample yeah so if this is our t here it's our symbol duration and so instead of just having having one one value yeah, so if this is here let's say one one value this is here constant constant so we abolish that and um, what we do is during our symbol duration t remember these are just all tiny samples here so we are we are creating something really really complex and um, putting loads of information here where every sample carries information so we create symbols with a with a um complex amplitude and um time structure yeah so something something like this one here and so the question is obviously how do we do that systematically that um, we are creating these funny shaped symbols here and that they're representing different numbers at the end what we would like to create is unique symbols with a time and amplitude structure and this is how to do it is that we use the inverse Fourier transform so we use the inverse Fourier transform for this and so remember that um, so if the inverse Fourier transform, what does it do? So we've got here the I FFT or the I DFT. So what we're sending in are different frequencies, complex frequencies actually, complex frequencies and what we're getting out there is a time series. This is exactly what we what we want. So we would like to create different different complex time series here. Obviously, the simplest way is if we're just setting one coefficient here that we are creating essentially waves, and they are all they are all superimposed depending on these coefficients here so our data our zero ones one zero one and so what we had before we turn this into complex frequencies and then we use inverse Fourier transform and creating the time series and then this here lasts t simple as that so the general idea of the OFDM is very simple so we use a discrete Fourier transform which has um, exactly the number of samples, what, um, how long T lasts, and then we're just creating these symbols. Very simple, ingenious idea.